What are fractions? And what can I do with them? In the first half, SV Werder Bremen dominated FC Bayern München. Kids, we have to fill up our car. The tank is down to one quarter. Sebastian Vettel improved his lap time by another two tenths of a second. Today we want to dance the waltz, which is in 3 4 time. We need the half cup of buttermilk and the half pound of butter for the dough. Okay, okay, wait a sec. What the heck does this have to do with fractures? Oh, honey, it's fractions, not fractures. What on earth are fractions? Never heard of it. Sounds complicated. And what do I even need them for? Actually, it's quite easy. Let me show you. You have probably seen a number like this before. On the gauge of your parents' car, on a measuring cup or somewhere entirely different. If you haven't, it doesn't matter. Now you've seen one. This number is called a fraction and this specific one is called a quarter. Strictly speaking, a fraction isn't just one number, but two separated by a line. The number above the line is called the numerator, the one below is called the denominator, and the line is called fraction bar. Ah, uh, okay, that's interesting. But what can I do with a fraction? And what are the numerator and the denominator for? First of all, the numerator tells us into how many equally big pieces an entity is divided. In our example, this yummy pizza is split up into four slices. By looking at the numerator, we can see how many of the quarters we are looking at. In this example, our numerator is one, which is why we are looking at one of our four slices of pizza. One fourth of a pizza. If we had three quarters, then we could eat three pieces of pizza. Alrighty, that's simple. But could I also divide it differently? Of course! You can divide an entity into any amount of pieces you like. Let's take a look at this delicious cherry pie. If we cut this pie right through the middle, we end up with two halves. One half on the left and one on the right. And put together, they amount to a whole again. You have to make sure though, that all pieces are of equal size. Here is another example with thirds. One third plus one third plus one third is a whole. All right, got it. But can it also help me with everyday problems? Sure thing. What's up, dog? Pizza party! Okay, tonight three friends are coming over, which means we are four people. Sadly, we only have three pizzas. Is it possible that everybody gets the same number of slices? Sure thing. No problem at all. Let's take a look. You are four kids and have three pizzas. It is clear that not everyone can have a whole pizza. So let's split the pizzas in half, making a total of six slices. Hmm, still won't work. If we split each pizza into four slices, the situation changes entirely. Since we have three pizzas, there are three times four slices of pizza, equaling 12. 12 divided by four equals three, which means everyone can have three slices of pizza. Yay! Nice! You showed me that fractions are really useful. True that, and it ain't that complicated, is it? So let's conclude. The numerator shows into how many equally big pieces an entity can be divided. The denominator simply shows how many of these pieces we are looking at. Thanks man, you've really helped me to understand fractions.